Yo, what's going on? What's happening? Mm. Mm. This video right here is going to be a very teachable moment. I enjoy videos like this where I can actually, you know what I'm saying, reach the youth, specifically young black men. Straight up. So let me just say right off the rip, it goes like this. Um, if there's no Jonathan Majors playing the role of Kang, there's no me in the um, um, seats in, in, in the movie theaters. None. There's no Disney Plus. Because I really don't even go to the movie theaters. I just wait they, until they go on to Disney Plus. There's no Disney Plus. Because let me tell you something. That man played that role in Quantum Mania. And he deserves that role. Straight up. Real talk. If Jonathan Majors is not playing Kang in the MCU, uh, a Marvel Universe, I'm done. It's a wrap for me. I don't know about you all. But I'm just telling you right off the rip. It's a wrap for me. Because that man played that part. I look forward to him being Kang. I look forward to that man, you know what I'm saying, beating up on Avengers and, and finding out who he killed, what Avengers, you know, he, he killed in the past. He made that character very interesting. He played the hell out of that plot part. So right off the rip, if there's no Jonathan Majors, Playing Kang, the role of Kang, in the MCU or Marvel Universe, I'm done. It's a wrap for me. Let's move on. Um, I don't know that man personally. Oftentimes what I do when um, looking at entertainers, I look at them just like that, as they are. Like, you know, I think, I mean, I'm not the only one that does this. I think most people do that. I think we separate the entertainers, entertainer, from the real person. Like I wouldn't say, for example, you know what I'm saying, like Erica Badu. I wouldn't want to meet her. I wouldn't want to meet her. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't want to meet, you know, Jay Z. I wouldn't want to meet none, any of these rappers, actors, singers, and none of that. Because guess what? They may be the exact opposite, for good or worse. Than what I perceive them to be. So yeah, far as Jonathan Majors, I want him to play King. But on the other hand, my personal opinion about him being charged, you know, with misdemeanor assault and um, harassment, it's good for him. Yeah, I said it, and I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna be like, man, so you want a black man to do this? Blah 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 blah. blah. But first of all, they said that he can receive up to one year of jail time. We know he's not gonna get that. He's gonna get probation and get have uh, uh, and heavy fine. You know what I'm saying? But far as his life in the acting world, it's done. It's a wrap. I mean, you might as well be locking him up because nobody's gonna want to put him in any type of movie now that his name has been tarnished. Real talk. So yeah, you know, um, he 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 got a a, a a a a a hill to climb up. But I don't feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for Bill Cosby. I don't feel sorry for any of these people that specifically date snow bunnies. It's just that plain and simple. Because guess what? You know I'm gonna go there. You know I'm gonna go there. But why not go there? Why not pull that card out? You know what card I'm going to pull? I'm going to pull out the slave card. They've been... And that is snow bunnies. Non-black women have been... And assaulting black men for the longest. And every time they get caught... when During slavery, every time they got caught... Messing with a black man, they always blamed it on a black man. Thus, history repeats itself. I don't think he did anything harmful to her that he would have done to any female. Might have verbally said something wrong to her. Might have pushed her something like that. But not to the point where he deserves this type of treatment. But hey, I don't feel sorry for him. There's so many black women out there. Matter of fact, there's so many minority women out there. You don't have to 
specifically date black women per se. <clears throat> being, excuse me, being that he has money, he could date any type of ethnicity. And uh, 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 I would, I would always say, date a heavenly melanated person. But he could have dated a Jamaican, an African, an African, Caribbean women, you know, African women, Australian women. The list goes on. Brazilian women. I just don't understand it, and maybe it's just not in my DNA to uh, to understand. Because I find black women specific in specific highly attractive. They got the roundest ass. They got the softest skin. And I just can't see myself dating outside of my race, especially non-blacks, snow bunnies. No way. Not after all the trouble that they've given us through our history. And y'all still fucking with them. And I don't understand it. I don't. But then in the same. I got to take a drink on this one. Y'all don't fuck with white girls. Excuse me. Y'all 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 fuck with snow bunnies. And then in the same sentence, you'll say you fuck with snow bunnies, but you don't fuck with black girls because they got nasty attitudes, they this that and aggressive and blah 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 blah. So it's bad enough that you fuck with snow bunnies, but you down black women. See, when I talk about black women, I could treat critique black women. I want them to be better than who and what they are right now. I say as a collective. So I'm not really talking down to my black women. I'm seeing the imperfections and I'm trying to correct them. Help her correct them. But oftentimes I see the most darkest man down his own sister, his own black woman. And that shit bugs me out. Y'all act like these snow bunnies ain't whores. Y'all act like snow bunnies don't be getting slutted out. Snow bunnies been, get, been getting slutted out from black men since. And they and, and, and I'm, I'm not saying it, that, that, that black men have actually pushed or forced snow bunnies. No, snow bunnies are willing to get slutted out. Threesomes, foursomes, I've seen it all. Since... I've been in, since I was in high school. I remember this snow bunny begged me, begged me to give me a, to, to for her to give me a, a, a blowjob. Begged me. See, my friends were in the snow bunnies. I wasn't, but I would hang out with them. You know what I'm saying? Because it was fun. You know, we would go over their houses and and while they was upstairs, you know, screwing the new snow bunnies, I was downstairs eating like you know, cause you know my. <laughs> That's real talk. I ain't even making this shit up for real. You know what I'm saying? They had all the nice, good snacks. They had Capri Suns. They had Twinkies. They had all that shit. You know, my mom's giving me little Debbie cakes. And you know what I'm saying? We had the bootleg version of what they had. So while they was up there, my friends were screwing the snow bunnies. I was downstairs eating up their food and shit in the refrigerator. Watching fucking, they always had like a hundred thousand fucking Senate, uh, excuse me, uh, um, cable channels and shit. I was watching HBO, drinking my Capri Sun, Twinkies, and all of that shit. That's my word. And they used to come downstairs, no lie, the little snow bunnies would come downstairs and be like, yo, you know, what's up? I never forget, I went over, um, I, I, I know these boys, I know that I still know their names. One of them was Julie, the other one was Amy. Amy was the horse of the whore, and Jordan. Amy was the horse of the whore. I went to go use the bathroom one time, and she came in, shut, shut off the lights, tried to pull my pants down, and give me a blowjob. I had to fight her off of me. We all know that Snow Bunny's been sluts. Been sluts. But yet and still, we're going to try to act like they not. And these same broads, I'm telling you, these same broads, niggas be wifing their asses up. I remember this dude, I got in a fight, this is my word, I beat his ass. He gonna, he gonna wanna fight me. Look, Jordan 
I never forget it. It was me, Jermaine. Yes, I'm calling names out. Me, Jermaine. Um. Ah uh, man, what was that other dude name? Um. Uh, it was another. Was it Kaz? Me, Jermaine. It might have been Kaz. Um. Um. I think Anthony. We all was over there, over Jermaine house. They had Jordan in the back. Jordan was take was giving blowjobs to every dude in the in the room. I was outside waiting for the dudes. Right? So the nigga, Jordan's Jordan's boyfriend, which was a a a a um, and I'm gonna give you the lowdown on Jordan. But let, let's let's just continue with this story. Jordan's boyfriend calls Jermaine's house talking about some, yo, my girl over there. Now your man, what is his name? I wish I knew your name that I, I, I would... Anyway. I wish I knew your name. Eric. Eric. What's, what was your last name? What was your last name? Last name. God damn it. Okay, Eric. Anyway, Eric calls. Black dude. Eric calls. Talking about some, yo, my girlfriend over there. Call Jermaine. Jermaine is like, nah, this and that, so forth, right? So, I forgot what it was. I had to go. I had to go home or something like that. And... And, and then I called Jermaine Was like yo y'all Are y'all done Are y'all done with it Or whatever Cause we gotta go I, It was some, somewhere We had to go right So Jordan gets on the phone And says I'm, we're, we're done When I say I'm, I'm done or whatever I was like Bitch get the fuck Off the phone So she heard She, she heard me say that right So then we I go over Jermaine's house right And I'm waiting outside So Jordan comes outside Like what you say about me? And I said, what? Man, get out of here. Go suck a dick and mush that in her face, right? So then, Ed gets a hold of what, what happened or whatever, right? So I see the dude, he talk about some, yo, you gonna talk, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you got a problem with my girl. I was like, yo, your girl suck everybody's dick and, and they were right there. You ain't got no problem with them, but you gotta have a problem with me and she ain't even do nothing to me. So I snuffed them, bow. Straight up, yo, I was raised right. Yeah, true indeed, I lived out here in the South, but I was raised right. New York all day. You snuff a dude. You hit the dude before they hit you. I bust that nigga ass, yo. Embarrassed him. But yeah, man, Jordan wanted to do a threesome. It was this boy named Shelby that I was talking to. She was a hoe. You know, I knew she was a hoe anyway, but she was black. You know what I'm saying? So she got on three-way prior to all of that. She wanted to give me a blowjob prior to all of that BS. I'm telling you all of this to, to tell you that you shouldn't mess with snow bunnies. You, you shouldn't mess with snow bunnies at all. They're trouble. They're trouble. I've never touched one. Never had sexually had sex, sexually been involved with any snow bunnies. Never. And never will. When I'm in the gym, I see them looking at me. Please, get out of here. <laughs> you ain't hitting me up. Ain't hitting me up. Yo, listen. I told you all, and I know some of you all gonna be in the comment section like, yo, man, he did talk about white girls having fat ass and this, that, so forth, blah, blah, blah. I said that, yes. I said, yes, they got fat asses now. I didn't say I was attracted to them. Never said that. Never said that. At the end of the day, I'm telling you, young men out there, black men, do not fuck with them motherfuckers. They'll have your ass in court and have your ass in jail. Because guess, let me tell you something. When a snow bunny start tearing up, those crocodile tears and shit like that, and start shaking and shit like that, whoever she's telling a lie to, they're going to believe it. Y'all going to learn. Y'all going to learn to stop fucking with them. Non blacks, y'all gonna y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. I don't trust them. I'ma say it. That's my word. I don't trust none of them. None of them. I don't care if you looking. Look, look. You can see me. You can see me. I don't trust none of y'all. Male or female. Never have, never will. And I don't forgive uh your ancestors or whomever that did whatever they did. Whoever that kin to you, you know what I'm saying, did what they did to my ancestors in the past. Don't forgive you, and will never forget. There, there has to be a line being drawn, and I'm not sitting here saying, when I say I don't trust y'all, 
When I say I'll never forgive and I'll never forget, that's not stating that I want to harm you all. That's not stating that I'm not uh, that, that I'm gonna be disrespectful to any non-black. No, I'm gonna be respectful at all times. At all times. Cause I was raised right. But at the same time, I don't have to like you. I don't. I know this is not my language. I know that I'm speaking the Anglo-Saxon language. I know that this is not my culture. I know that we as black people had to do what we had to do in order to make it in the past, present, and going into the future. Ain't nobody got us but us. And now it's to the point now that we're, we're warring against one another. And I hate seeing that happen. I hate it. Because only a black woman can understand a black man. I don't care what nobody say. Hodge twins, whoever. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. If anybody can, you, if anybody were to take this video and want to chop it up and make a mockery or a joke of me or whatever, by all means do it. But you're never going to change my mind. Never. Never. I've been this way since birth. And I ain't going to ever change. I know who my enemy is. I know that I'm behind enemy lines. And can't nobody convince me or tell me different. I know where hell is. And it sure ain't underground. It's here. And I deal with this shit every day. Black men. Find you. A nice wholesome. Black woman. And there are some black, beautiful women out there. Don't get hemmed up with them. Don't get hemmed up with them snow bunnies. I wouldn't even go as far as to say as as, as to have fun with them. Straight up, be about your business, and find you someone that you can trust, that you can relate to. Because at the end of the day, let me tell you something: when you get in a relationship with them. Somebody's going to have to give up something See it's cool When you Are into Santa Claus and Christmas and, and all of the holidays It's cool when you're talking Their language It's cool when you're into what they're into it, In other words American culture It's cool when you're going to church And you're believing in the white Jesus But turn the table around and see how far that snow bunny will go with you when you start saying, yo, I, 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 I believe in my African deities, my African ancestors. I want to learn an African language. I don't believe in a, 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 a non-black Jesus. I believe in a black Jesus. Matter of fact, Jesus don't even exist. See how far that snow bunny will go down that rabbit hole with you. And that's real talk I see non-blacks Getting so-called conscious nowadays Talking about GMO foods And, and, and <laughs> Oh man This, this is cra it's crazy to me I've been on this earth long enough To know To know That they full of shit Now these Non-blacks want to be conscious. Chemtrails. Hydrofracking. Man, I was talking about that shit 25 years ago. That's my word. We knew all about that shit. Now, all of a sudden, non-blacks want to start building and shit like that. See, y'all don't know the history of hip-hop. Y'all don't know how... How hard, how how how, how 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 strenuous it was to fight to get this culture to where it's at right now. Non-blacks was fighting against us. They told us in the very beginning that hip hop or rap wasn't even uh, 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 any music, and that it'll die out within a couple of years. And now it's a billion. The hip hop hip hop culture is a billion dollar industry. 
You can't go anywhere without listening to hip hop. Better wake the hell up. And seeing that you see see that you getting played. See, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing to lose. What am I gonna lose? What you gonna take from me? You ain't gonna take nothing from me because I ain't never had shit. And that's real talk. That's the reason why I talk the way that I talk. You can't take nothing from me because I ain't got shit to, for, for you to take. Nothing. See, a lot of you all got something to lose. That's the reason why you don't want to come out your mouth and say the shit that I'm saying, knowing that I'm telling the fucking truth, though. But I ain't got nothing to lose, and I know that it's about to be over. Over. Finito. Done. America spelled with three Ks. We will see the end of it. So you best to get on your shit. And when I mean on your shit, start loving yourself. Start doing the things that you need to do to improve your health, your mental, physical, and spiritual health. And find someone that can be genetically connected to you, that can overstand you. We so wrapped in to how we feel. So it's ridiculous. And look how society is now. I seen the other day a man said, I feel like being a dog. And he got a, 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 a I don't know what that shit was. Like. He got like a, a coat, a $20,000 coat or some shit where he can, uh, I don't know what it was, but he can put his, his hands and his legs into the whole thing and walk like a dog and shit. And get pet and shit like that. Like, what the fuck is this? It's based on his feelings. How he feels. I'm proud to say I got black babies. God damn it, I'm proud to say I got black babies. 100% pure. proud to say I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck yes true indeed I've had black women do bad shit it, man come on but women are gonna be women man ain't man shit ain't 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 no race out there of women that's all good but I'm proud to say that I always kept it real always Yeah, so I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just telling you. You know what I'm saying? For real, like, look what happened to Jonathan Majors. Look what happened to the shitloads of football players that been accused of being snow bunnies. I, yeah, I'm going I'm to bleep that out. The R word, snow bunnies. And they went, some of them went to jail. And lo and behold, they were innocent. You need to do your history. Look at Rosewood. Look at the movie Rosewood. That shit was a real story. Look at uh, uh look, look at what happened to Black Wall Street. Look at what happened to Emmett Till. He just whistled at a, a snow bunny. And they shit at him. But hey. I don't know nothing. I'm just an old head. Don't know what you're talking about. You do your thing. I just know what I'm not going to do.